Hi there, welcome back to another comparison video. And today we're going to be comparing the LeBron 18 low against the newest release, which is the LeBron 19 low. And as always, the point of comparing them is that I'll come up with a decision on which one I think is better towards the end. So let's get started. With the LeBron 19 low, thanks to some of you in the comments, I actually didn't know that this um, missile air unit actually turns into a purple color when they are exposed to ultraviolet light or if you just put them directly under the sunlight. So just some uh, cool details. But anyways, if you want to watch my video on the LeBron 19 low itself, I'll leave a link on the top right corner. So for the performance comparison this time, we're actually going to change things up a little bit and start off with the weight. Uh, I noticed quite a few comments asking if these are heavy and the answer is yes. Actually both of these are pretty heavy. They are about the same weight. The LeBron 18 low is 456 grams and the LeBron 19 low is 470 grams. Slightly heavier but by just a tiny bit. And for a low top basketball shoe, I would definitely consider both of these as heavy. For cushioning, both give you a really good compression. Similar setup with Nike React Foam plus that visible air unit at the back. If I was to pick one, I think the cushioning on the LeBron 19 low feels a little bit better. Uh, the double chambered air unit design might have helped in this case. Core feel in general, I have put them on at the same time and I like the 19 lows a lot better. The 18s just feel stiff in comparison and especially the ankle padding is not as soft and foamy. So like this part here where the color blocking ends feels really hard whereas on the 19 lows this area is a continuation of the mesh netting which feels more fluent and i do like the cut on the 19 lows better um, it's almost like a v-shaped cut around the collar as for traction both are pretty bad or i should say average at best uh, it's not to a point where you'll be slipping a lot but none of these two can give you like a hard stop like the puma mb1 or the curry 9. very different traction patterns i do think the lebron 18 also will hold up better for the long term or if you primarily play outdoors. Material wise, the 18 lows use a synthetic mesh throughout the upper and the 19 lows have a thinner mesh netting which is uh, kind of like a see-through but also has a toe guard. I wouldn't really consider any of them to be one of the most breathable shoes out there so it really just comes down to your preference or if you like this toe guard thing uh, which was used quite a few times on LeBron shoes before. And lastly with the fit, both are true to size and the width is similar as well, should be okay for white footers. So between these two low top versions of the LeBron signature line, which one is better? Overall, I'm going with the LeBron 19 lows. Much better core feel, easier to break in. Actually, I would just consider these pretty much a similar setup as the 18 lows, but softer in general. And that's it for today's video. Please feel free to share your thoughts down in the comments. Also, let me know which other comparisons you like to see. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.